If you've been called quirky, nerdy, different, or socially awkward, you're probably a white girl who has a sitcom about being quirky, nerdy, different, and socially awkward. If you've been called bougie, uppity, stuck up, and talks like a white girl, then you're probably a black girl with ADHD who has some social skills challenges. And that's what we're talking about today, again, in our series on social skills. Hey guys, welcome back to ADHD is the New Black. I'm Stacey Michelle. Hey listen, I make these videos for women like me and you. Black women with ADHD who need community, support, and some validation that there's nothing wrong with you. We're in the middle of counting down the five most trifling ADHD social skills as reported by me. We started this series in the previous video with number five and number four. If you want to see those videos in full, check out the link below. But not right now, because we're rolling into the third most trifling social skill. Underreacting or overreacting. Sorry, but off the radar, it's just... Daryl and I broke up. What? I was up all night crying. So Daryl's available now. You know, I should rename that example inappropriate reaction for the circumstances. A friend told me she was going through something painful. Daryl and I broke up. And in that moment, my focus fixated on the wrong detail for that conversation. Daryl and I broke up. So Daryl's available now. As a friend, my focus should have been on her emotional state. But because of my ADHD, I couldn't lock on the cues that might have triggered a more empathetic response. Cues like tears, the tone of her voice, tears. Hello. This is why some people think I'm a jackass. From her perspective, not only was I insensitive to her feelings, I was also a tacky heifer who was just waiting for her to break up with Daryl so I could put some rebound on him. Rebound, rebound, rebound. Rebound. I'm not wearing any panties, Daryl. <laughs> okay, let's set something straight. I don't want him. Daryl doesn't even have a job. Neither do I, but mine's because of COVID. I wasn't intentionally ignoring her feelings. I just wasn't aware of them in that moment. My, my what? My, a lot of us with ADHD mean well. We really do. That's because a lot of us are extreme people pleasers for better or for worse, usually for worse. So when we respond to a problem or a crisis, we're just trying to help. But then before we know it, we're defending and explaining ourselves down a rabbit hole. It just makes us look like we're making it up as we go along. You misunderstood what I was trying to say. When you said, Daryl and I broke up, I immediately remembered I got a text message that morning from a casting agent that I know. You met her at Chris's Halloween party the other year. She was dressed like the marshmallow from Ghostbusters. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I got a text message from her that morning. She's looking for broke ass single men who still live with their mom. I was gonna recommend Daryl, but he wasn't single, so I thought. But then the next day, you tell me you've kicked him to the curb again. Now I'm thinking I can recommend him to casting because we both know he needs the money. Looking out for a brother, right? So the next time you take him back, because you always do, because you love him, he'll have some reality show money stacked. You guys will be more financially stable and I won't have to explain again why I was being a great friend to you when I said, so Daryl's available now. She didn't get me. But she did get mad at me. And I got mad at her for not understanding me. Two things can be true at the same time. I was being insensitive and hurtful to her because I didn't understand myself. And she was being unforgiving because because she didn't understand me. There's a whole self-help industry built around helping women understand why we're so misunderstood. It's science. Tons of studies have been done on kids with ADHD. When they measured their social skills, they found most of the kids with ADHD were more self-focused during play. In other words, ADHD kids make everything about them. Is it always about you? It's about me, 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 and me. That's mine, that's mine, that's mine. Me, me. In Spanish, yo, enough about me. What do you think of me? If that behavior isn't redirected in childhood, most of them become grown-ups with problems connecting and forming relationships. But wait, aren't women supposed to be better than men at building relationships and becoming best friends and stuff? That plays into a huge misconception and stereotype about females, but yeah, if you're no typical, no. <laughs> We are neurodiverse. Say it loud, say it proud. We are neuro 
Diverse. Neurodiverse, we are neurodiverse. We're extra sensitive to criticism and rejection, more so than people who don't have ADHD. That's why I can't do dating apps. Dude slides into my DMs like, hey queen, and then I type, hi. And then he doesn't write back? Was it the way I said hi? When people accuse us of behaving in ways that don't ring true to us, like being transactional or selfish or insensitive, we're most likely to forget who we really are because we start believing all of those lies about ourselves. As a result, that's why many women with ADHD also have low self-esteem, depression, and social anxiety. That's a package deal you don't want. Does anything I just said make sense to you or sound familiar? If so, leave a comment below and tell me if you're one of the people with ADHD who says the wrong things a lot. Now, I'm not saying that every woman with ADHD struggles with saying the wrong thing or just speaking her mind when no one asked. I mean, maybe you are every character Vivica A. Fox has ever played. Reading people like a candle and you better not say anything about it. If speaking your mind all the time makes you feel powerful, if it's working for you, then you don't need to watch this episode. I mean, stay, please, stay. But if the room falls silent when you open your mouth, just know social skills are something you can get better at. You can become the person that people remember for the right reasons. Instead of being the one that said that weird thing about Daryl and casting directors and broke ass bachelors. Change of any kind begins with awareness. Awareness that you might have ADHD. Awareness of what ADHD is. Awareness of what ADHD is not. If you'd like to dive deeper into how those awareness factors can affect your ADHD social skills, click on the link in the description below. The video is called, Be Aware, ADHD. That's supposed to be a temporary name, but since I didn't change it, that's now I gotta name it then. Now, how different would that scene be between my friend and I? If I had an understanding back then of my ADHD, my reaction to her news about her and Daryl's breakup might have been more appropriate within the context of the conversation. Daryl and I broke up. Oh, stay focused on her feelings. I am so sorry. Ask if she's okay. Are you okay? I will be thoughtful and do girly things for you. May I draw you a bubble bath and braid your hair? Being more conscientious might sound as odd and uncomfortable as that sounded, but it takes practice to master any new skill. And social skills, those are learned skills. Most humans learn to pick up on others' needs and have empathy at a very young age, but our ADHD brains, we need a little extra time to learn these social skills, but it can be done, even as an adult. Now, just so you don't think it's all Bad. Let me tell you one of the great things about having an ADHD brain. We're non-linear thinkers. That means we make connections between seemingly unrelated ideas. And because of that, we're often the ones that are coming up with the most unique solutions to problems. Is that someone who's smarter? Wait a Normal? Actually, for this conversation, it's someone who does not have ADHD. And we're just fun to be around, especially when the way we process information is valued and respected by others. There's nothing I love more than being able to encourage black women and women of color who have ADHD. My goal for this channel is to build a community who want to feel not only better about having the condition, but feel proud to have ADHD because the very things that you think are your weaknesses, those are actually your strengths. They are the flip side of the same coin. If you support what I do, if you like these videos, please tell other people about it. Like this video, become a subscriber. Guys, thanks for watching. My name is Stacey Michelle and you are not alone. I'm helping women with ADHD as her friend. My, what? I never memorize these scripts, okay? Oh, in three, what time is it? Damn.
Really cute. You know, you know. You know, I should rename that example on the wrong. ADHD. I'm 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 ADHD